change is happening really, really fast now. Uh, so much so that we are contributing, as a species, we are contributing significantly to the acceleration of climate change. Uh, it's time we uh, took a step back and realized that uh, this is the only climate we have until we can develop some innovative space access technologies. So we, we need to decelerate the uh, you know, global warming phenomena, and we do that uh, by being smart about what we use energy for, how we use energy, and what sources of energy we use. Sure, I spent uh, you know decades uh, chasing oil and gas around the world. Uh, the world needed energy. Uh, you know, and back in the '80s, we all thought it was going to run out. Clearly, it's not. Uh, a refocus is needed. The, the warm fuzzies of a vibrant oil and gas industry in Alberta yesterday is not applicable to tomorrow. Tomorrow, we need to be generous. Our, our energy don't uh, choke the rest of the planet off. Our air and our water. To that end, obviously, solar and wind play a big factor. Uh, especially here in Alberta, we're ample resources. Alberta is, funny enough, one of the one of the hot spots around the globe in terms of uh, days per year and hours per per day average. Uh, we also have winds, significant winds, but it's very intermittent. So we have a bell curve of solar, which is rather extreme given our seasonal fluctuations, and then we have our intermittency curves of uh, of wind. Uh, the natural sort of uh, fall back to the Canadian energy industry that has been sort of the energy industry is to uh, level up those curves with what natural gas. Yet natural gas is part and parcel of the problem in the long term. So we need to start looking at other alternatives as a base leveling mode for our thermal and electric energy requirements that will cover the intermittency curves uh, by some of the other renewable uh, resources that are disposable. Uh, to me, that's here in Alberta, that has to be geothermal. I mean, it's, it's abundant, it hasn't researched, and it hasn't, you know, there's been no exploration appraisal in the pilot program put together, and that's that's what we're working towards. I, I think I would throw a, a, a little something on onto that. In, in terms of uh, uh, jobs and work related to various energy industries uh, uh, inside, the neat thing about uh, geothermal is that the, uh, the level of job creation in geothermal uh, is likely to be significantly higher than wind. Uh, and some solar, of course, is a uh, you know, low-hanging fruit. So uh, I applaud Claire and Earth going after solar first, and uh, envisaging uh, you know geothermal as a, as a next step in transitioning the workforce. <laughs>